Good evening, YouTube. This is Angie. I'm going to do a quick little lost yard sale haul. I got this stuff quite some time ago and sort of forgot I had it. Um, most of it I just bought for me because it was just cute things. My first thing I got was this really cute little uh, female Cupid. I love her because she's brunette. but um, She has a little heart she's holding, a little arrow, and then she stands up. And she is double-sided. And... Uh, that's kind of messed up the way it's done right there. But anyway, I thought she was really cute. Really cute for Valentine's. And she is marked um, inside here, made in Denmark. So I um, thought that was a really cute little honeycomb. The next thing I got that was so cute I just couldn't leave at a yard sale was this cute little, um, I don't know if it's a horse or a zebra or whatever, but he was 10 cents. And he just really reminded me of when I was little. And we used to get the fruit stripe gum. I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but I loved it. It was a stripe of different colors of gum. Um, but for 10 cents, I just thought he was adorable. His little tag was cut off, so I don't know if he's old or newer or what. But um, I just thought he was precious. So I'll just probably take this off and throw him in the washing machine. Um, and then just keep him for myself. Um, another cute thing I got, I got this box just because it was like a quarter. Um, I just was going to get it for the box. Because I just thought that was a really cute little picture of Mr. and Miss Claus. It's an old Hallmark box. Um, but inside of it, it was really cute. It had this really cute little pamphlet on first stitches and embroidery. And I thought of my sister because she's been doing embroidery and cruels and all that kind of stuff lately. And um, I just thought it was really, it's a really cute little booklet. Um, I'm not sure how old it is, but it definitely has cute older graphics. And it has, it has a lot of the cute little stitches inside. I thought for one a hot second I would try to embroidery something myself but I don't think so. Um, so I'll, and it had also had in it just some embroidery string which I would probably just give that away to my sister because she does that now and she has been doing a really good job and she seems to enjoy it. Um, another thing I got that I love for me I've been trying to collect these old vintage photo cubes. I think this one was like a quarter I can't remember but um I've got a good little collection going now. I love finding those. This really cute yellow, it's a, um, it's almost like a little coffee pot. Um, I got this at a yard sale down the street for me for like, I think 50 cents. I just loved it because of its color. Um, and I thought it would be really cute in my camper. The color would kind of go good with the colors I've chosen for my camper. Because we do plan on going to some vintage rallies. Uh, I think we have one we're planning on going to later this summer and people there actually decorate their campers kind of like in the whatever year their camper is. So I thought that would be really cute to just sit on the stove because my stove is like white and teal. I got this for 25 cents just because a friend of mine has one at work and it just uses two AA batteries and it works really good for such a tiny little fan. And like with hot flashes like overtaking my life, I thought that for a quarter and some AA battery, I mean some D batteries, would be fantastic. Um, I went to a yard sale in Boulder and I found these really cute um, embroidered little things you hang. And I love the way she kind of finished off the back. It's very vintage 80s looking, but I love the work. It's like a little teddy bear. They were 50 cent a piece. And it's just really bright and clean, and those were just really cute. That was a family that was selling their grandmother's stuff, and um, they had really great prices. This is the other one. It's a little, uh, this one is a little bunny playing the drums. I just thought that was precious. I actually don't really like this around the edge, but um, I'm probably just, I'm probably going to sell those because they, they just look so good. Another embroidery piece I got there for a dollar was this. It's just a piece of fabric. It looks like a napkin, but they embroidered on it. Um, that's the back of that. And it said, love is... My cute little bird. Um, looks like Raggedy Ann and Andy, sort of, kind of. But the road to happiness. And this reminded me of, like, I used to love the 70s love is... Um, things that used to come in the newspaper and then the I forget Kim Cattrall or Kim Kim something uh was the cartoonist and um anyway that she made all kind of stuff but that reminded me of that but that I'm I'll probably sell because I probably won't keep it for myself 
And then I love this. This was, I think, a quarter. Yeah, it was 25 cents. It is a vintage uh, dry erase memo board. I love the rainbow and the birds. And it looks like it was never written on. It has the string attached, but the pen is lost. But I can just add a pen. And it has a little cork board here. I just thought that was really cute. It looks like it's from the 70s, and it was never used. I don't think it was ever hung up. But I just love that for 25 cents. I'll probably just hang that somewhere, maybe in my sewing room, and add a pin. But I kind of don't really want to mess it up. I thought that was just adorable. And then I found some really cute little um, Christmas cards. These are, says, whatever you're hoping this Christmas will bring, here's hoping and wishing the very same thing. There's like three of them. They're actually, um, they're actually postcards from, um, Current Incorporated, that's, um, I find a lot of stuff that's made by that, and they make, they made some really cute stuff. I don't know if they're still in business, but that's out of Colorado Springs, and that's just like an hour and a half down the road from me. But they're all the same. I just thought they were really cute. They were unused. This little box, um, this, this, I think it was, I'm not sure. This was, this is just a really cute little this was just a really cute little coaster. Looks like it's never been used. I thought I would just put a magnet on the back and stick it on the refrigerator for Halloween. It's just cute. The blue bulb was just in the box. I think they just included that for free, but I thought why not put that outside and support the police. I really bought it for these. They were a dollar a piece and they're really heavy marble Easter eggs. Um, I have sold these before. The ones I usually sell, they were like really bright colors, pink and yellow and green. This one is really heavy, um, but they're really nice. It's a little bit bigger, I think. It's kind of black and white marble, and there's one more. And then when I got the box home, I realized there was 50 cents in the box. <laughs> so I guess I got 50 cents back on that. This was really cute. I got, for I think, for a dollar at a yard sale. It's a Pyrex bowl. I'm not sure of the pattern. If anybody knows, just let me know. But I loved it. I love Pyrex. I've been trying to get a little collection going. Um, I actually like to use it. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was nice for a dollar. It's in really good shape. It just needs a little cleaning up. This one was a Fridgy I got for $2 with the lid. It does have a little sharp spot on one corner of the lid, which a lot of them always do. But it was $2. It's the blue one. It's a bit faded dishwasher damage, I guess. So I'll try to, like, clean it up if I can. I think, is it Barkeeper's Friend that's supposed to work on that? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you know. But I thought it would be cute just to add to my collection or just to decorate with um, for, like, Easter or something. I just love that color. I got this for free at the yard sale that I got the embroidery stuff at. It's just a handmade um like hot mat but I thought it was really cute and I got this little apron for free from them too it's just a really thin little vintage apron it's in really rough shape but um I have no idea what I'll do with that and then I also got from them these really cute earrings 25 cent or 75 cents I got those because of the uh, flag and heart so I thought that was really cute I just have to clean them up and this pair was really, this was a, was marked down to 25 cents. How cute are those little ghosts? I just love those. And then I got this, speaking of ghosts, this Halloween record. It's Halloween spooky sounds. Storm with rain, storm with rain, and then storm, howling cats, footsteps, door opening, door closing, just different things. I hadn't tried to play it yet, but I'll try to try to see how it sounds. I just thought it was really cute. I think it was, I think it was like a quarter. But anyway, that's pretty much the haul for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, let me know. Hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, and have a great day.